Right, uh, welcome back to uh, Starfish Sea Fishing. Um, we come back to Talaka today uh, after the smooth rounds. Probably my last pop at them this year, I think, and I'll be on to the rock marks in Wales fishing for other stuff. Um, it's quite a good venue, Talaka. You're about 30, 40 yards out, you've got about 30, 40 foot of water over low. Uh, it's packed full of smooth rounds, to be honest. Uh, they run up and down the channel there, patrolling, uh, just up and down constantly. You'll catch them right throughout the state of the tide, three hours down, three hours up. They're just here all the time. It's hit or miss whether you get uh, a load of small hounds in one session or you come in and get some good double figure hounds. You've got to fight through the, the little hounds to get to the bigger fish here. Uh, so we'll give it a go. One rod's going out with Peter, Peter Crab for the hounds and the other rod's going out with uh, Sand Ale and Squid because we're going to try and get a ray or a bullos. There's been a few bullos showing off here recently um, and I could do with landing one from here. First rig we've got out today is um, just an up and over rig. When that hits the water there, it releases the bait like so. Quite a long snud line on this, you can see that properly. And that's the bait for the day. Uh, just a uh, sand deal, bit of squid. We'll try and tempt the ray out with this rig. To clip the up and over rig up, we'll just put the bottom hook into the uh, clip down. Secure that up. I just pull the snud line onto my little cliff like that and that's a lovely streamlined bait as soon as it hits the water it'll just release like that and sit on the floor on my other rig today I'm just again I'm on a loop rig size sort of 1-0 uh, chinook and we'll put this one out for the hounds so again there's the little chinook dead strong hooks the hooks are really to match the size of the baits which is the crab so the crab goes through there Got a bit of bait elastic on it. That'll do because I'm fishing quick today. Move on number two, probably about three pounds. Um, see why I don't use big hooks as well, because the mouths aren't that big, they're quite flat really. I think a size one or two out. It's ample for the fish like that. We all want the specimens, but if these are around in big numbers, you don't always get through them. Uh, as can often happen at this venue, you can get absolutely plagued by the small hounds and dabs. Um, we we'll just just keep going for them. You'll, you'll either have a load of these small size up to three to four or five pound, or you'll hit the big ones on the right day. We we'll just keep going through them, but they're getting smashed the baits really quickly today. Uh, smooth out number four, they're on fire today. So again, 
little dogfish there, another baby hound. Um, they're absolutely on fire today. I literally cannot bait up quick enough now. Let's get them back in. Well, you can see here uh, how much weed's here in the water today after all the rain we've had. It's absolutely soaking wet at the moment. Yeah, the main body of anglers are all down there. Uh, Dave Radcliffe's down there. Uh, Dale and a few others, but I've come further up. The left hand rod, I've got a uh, sand eel and squid on for the ray, but uh, this isn't having any action at all. Everything's coming to the the, uh, the other rod on crab today. I'm just going to keep plugging away with these because I definitely want to try and get a thornback ray from here if I can today. Go, still coming. That's uh, smooth out number six. We'll get him back. Another, uh, another little male again there as well. Right, that's the first the first fish out on the uh, sand eel and squid there. Again, another baby hound, but looks like we're going to get plagued with these today. <coughs> it's the uh, dreaded weaver fish there. And a uh, little, little dab on top. Slack water now, so the little fish are coming on the feed. Seem to be a male smooth hounds again today. There, we'll get him back in. There he is. They're just coming and coming and coming. All smooth outs, absolutely everywhere. Doesn't matter where you cast now, short, medium, out. They're just hitting me every time. Nothing special, but like lovely fish to catch. Absolutely really enjoyable day. Certainly, uh, one of the best spots in North Wales for these smooth hounds. Though the amount you can get here is unbelievable. Get it right on the right day, they'll be really good-sized double-figure hounds. Average day, you know, they're around three to four pounds. Absolutely brilliant sport. Excellent day. Yeah, plenty of dabs here as well. It's going to be such a shame to see this venue go in a few years when they build the big air barrage they want to build from Moston all the way around here. This is just going to be a marine lake. Such a shame that idea has been put forward, but this kind of fishing and, and this place here, you know, there's so many fish and variety of fish, it will be a shame to lose this mark. Go. The place is just crawling with them. Well, uh, finally got a decent size one at last, so it was worth sticking it out. So I've got about half an hour left. I think he's about six pounds. We'll get him weighed and uh, see what he comes in at. There we go, seven. There we go, seven pounds. 
So uh, we'll let it, we'll let it go and um, we'll keep at it. See if we can get another big one out. There we go, seven pound. It was worth sticking it out for fight through the little ones to finally get to a decent size one. Get him off. There we go, literally, as soon as the baits are hitting the water, they're getting hit straight away. The actual, the other rod with the uh, sand eel and squid on, it's only had four fish right the way through the whole session. It's this peeler crab. Peeler crab is absolutely killing at this mark today. Go literally two minute cast that was and that hit straight away. Two minutes on the crab. I'm absolutely aching all over. Down to be last crab, one last cast. See if we get one more out and then uh, we'll call it a day. Sandale and squid. <laughs> Again, another small island, but we'll one more cast, we'll get that in and uh, have had a great day and I'll be off after the next cast. Right, that's my last fish of the day. I've got no crab left now. Just got a little bit of squid and uh, it's getting a bit light in the tide. We'll get him back and uh, see you again. <laughs>